Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Leslie of Inside Job Life Coaching. And <clears throat> I just wanted to make a quick video, um, just hanging out in my room doing some reading. And um, I wanted to talk about um, a post that I had made on my Instagram. And I don't know why I've never like advertised my, or told you all about my Instagram, but um, I think my name is Leslie Davidson 16, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <clears throat> but um, you should follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of um, uh, inspirational things on there. But um, I had posted something earlier that talked about telling people how you feel. Um, and if you tell people how you feel and you know express to them you know why certain things are important to you then that's basically like a form of having boundaries <clears throat> and someone one of my um friends slash followers said you know that's right but that's easier said than done and so i just kind of wanted to address that <clears throat> So when she said that, that made me think about how people are afraid to um, make their needs known because to some degree, if you are afraid to tell a person how to treat you, or if you're afraid to tell a person how they're making you feel, that's usually because you're lacking something within yourself. You're lacking, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You are lacking kindness toward yourself. You're lacking dignity toward yourself. You're lacking the self-confidence for yourself. Anytime you are afraid to tell someone how you really feel, or to tell someone, hey, you know, when you said that, that kind of hurt my feelings or that made me feel like X, Y, Z or whatever it is. <clears throat> if you're, whenever you're afraid to tell somebody that it's usually because you're afraid that they're going to get upset um, and then you won't have them in your life. But if you think about it, if you tell somebody something about your feelings and they get upset and explode and you know, storm out of your life or whatever, should they really have been there in the first place? The people that love us and that care for us want us to be happy and they don't want to know, or the, uh, not that, not that they don't want to know, but they don't want to hurt us. They, you know, if you have a person in your life and you tell them that, you know, something that they did caused you pain then more than likely they would you know they should be like oh my god I'm so sorry that wasn't my intention or you know or something you know they should be like working to correct it apologizing uh be open and willing to talk about it not just like shut you down and explode and and you know have this big ordeal you know what I'm saying so we have to think about things like that because <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm trying to use both of my hands here, but we have to think about those types of things because if you have somebody in your life and you can't be honest with them and tell them, you know, what it is that you're feeling based off of something that they might, that they might have said or done to you, then you really need to like evaluate that relationship seriously guys um and it's really time to start evaluating the quality of our relationships you know a lot of times we especially for women <clears throat> when we are <clears throat> dealing with someone we want that to be it a lot of times you know we we like to you know, get into the groove with somebody and, um, and just have that stability. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we move too fast. We don't put enough, um, like time and space between, um, 
our relationship. Sorry, somebody's messaging me and it's um, distracting. <laughs> but um, we don't put enough time and space between the time that we get to know somebody and the time that we like establish that we want to be in a relationship with that person. We don't give enough time there to really see if we really get to know this person. Is this even somebody that we're going to like? Is this somebody that's going to respect us? Um, is this somebody that's going to be good for our soul? Those are the types of things that you need to be thinking about. Now, when you first meet somebody, it's hard to pump the brakes because you're excited. You're attracted to them physically. Maybe they said something that was witty or funny or whatever. And, you know, you felt like something sparked or clicked in that moment. And it very well could have. But you still have to give yourself time from the time that you meet that person to the time that you determine that you may want to enter into a relationship with this person. And I've said all that to say, <clears throat> um, we have to really start focusing on who we are getting involved with. Okay. Because I know for one, with me, I'm 40 years old now. And in the past, I know that I did not take this advice. I was, this was not even in my awareness because I was a person that struggled with my identity, you know, understanding that I'm a wonderful person who deserves to be treated with respect and I deserve to have the kind of relationships that I want to have. I struggled with that. That was not even in my awareness for many reasons. And I'll talk about that maybe in another video. But for many reasons, I just did not have that type of um, self-regard. And so because I did not have that self-regard, it left me open um, and susceptible to a bunch of bullshit, <laughs> basically is what it boils down to, you know? So guys, just really put some time and space between yourself and the people that you meet. Everybody is not supposed to be in a relationship with you. They're just not. And if that means that, you know, you have to go like a period of time um, without being in a relationship with someone, then that's okay. That's okay. Because life is too big to be just focusing only on relationships. Rel and, but re the thing is, the kicker is that relationships are important. That's how human beings thrive. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> when you, um, the next time you meet somebody and you're really, really interested in them, put some space in between, you know, in your mind, which I know is hard. I know it is very hard, especially if you go like me, I can go like months even years like without really like being really really interested in somebody and that's because i've built like a buffer between my feelings and my mind because my feelings would have me you know talking to the you know whoever is paying attention to me <laughs> you know but my mind says uh-uh Put some space in between that. Get to know who this person is. See what they're about. See how they react when they get mad. See how they react when you tell them no. See how they react um, when somebody cuts them off in traffic. You know, you have to see these things. Because what I'm finding more and more of is so much domestic violence. Young women being with these possessive little boys that don't have anything, don't have a pot to piss in or a window to pitch it out of, literally having a temper tantrum and then like killing the young woman or beating her up or, you know, all this crazy stuff. And it's just like, you can't, <clears throat> you cannot put yourself in that type of a situation where you move too fast with people. And then the next thing you know, you got a fool on your hands, <laughs> I don't know how I even started talking about that. I meant to come on here and, and talk about boundaries, but everything just goes hand in hand. So if you are with somebody 
who you can't like be authentic with, who you can't say, hey, that hurt me or hey, could, you know, when you said this and that, it really, really hurt my feelings or I don't like it when you do X, Y, and Z. Can we talk about that? If you can't do that with the person, what are you even doing? What are you even doing? Because the relationship is supposed to be about creating a bond with this particular person. You're supposed to be investing in each other. You're not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be a one-sided ordeal. It's just not. And if you really sit down and think about it, most of our relationships are one-sided. We're giving and giving and giving and constantly trying to prove our worth and our value to people who don't even really see their worth and value in themselves. So how can they see it in you? Think about that. So anyway, my arm is starting to hurt <laughs> um, from holding this phone up, but I just wanted to kind <clears> of <throat> come in. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I've been getting all kinds of downloads now that I've had time to just be home. I can work from home and, you know, doing all my school stuff from home and everything. And I've had time to just meditate and pray and, you know, talk to spirit and talk to the ancestors, come over here to my altar, get a little quick peek of that and just like really do some work and receive downloads and things about relationships and boundaries keep coming up so, so much. So Anyway, check me out on Instagram. I think it's Leslie Davidson 16. Um, if that's not it, I will definitely put it in the um, oh, in the description box. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I'll put it in the description box um, below so that you have that. You can follow me on there. Um, if you have a specific question um, or if you have comments or anything, please feel free to put that in the uh, comments below, or you can also email me at insidejoblifecoaching at gmail.com. I would love to speak to you. Um, yeah, so, you know, with this whole COVID-19 situation, it's just really <clears throat> giving me a different perspective about my life and what I find important and what people really, really need to be thinking about. Um, I know I was telling someone earlier that I will never, like, I'm thankful to have a job and everything, but I will never go back to the way that I worked before. I won't do it. And, you know, I really don't care what my employer says <laughs> um, because, you know, I have other things that I can do for income. And that's another thing, having multiple streams of income, um, <clears throat> and saving money, like that's serious business. As a lot of people are seeing now with everything shut down, this has been like a big slap in the face for a lot of people who were comfortable in their nine to fives and <clears throat> who did not have, um, another stream of income. And now suddenly are put in a position where they literally um, can't do anything. You know, everything just abruptly stopped. So be thinking, I mean, guys, I can't stress this enough. Like if you were playing before, it's time to stop playing now. We got to like really, really be a whole lot better with the way that we manage our lives. And that also includes managing the people that we have in our lives. Because like I, like I said, we're not supposed to have everybody in our lives. We're not supposed to have a relationship with everybody. Some people just come through your life and <clears throat> you have to try to, it, when, when somebody comes into your life, you have to try to figure out what they're doing there. It's not just always just to have a relationship. That's not always what it is. It's not always just to have a situationship, whatever that is. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all have an amazing evening. I'm going to continue reading and studying and watching one of my favorite movies, You've Got Mail. And I hope that you all enjoy your Saturday evening doing whatever it is that you want to do. But please, please, please 
start getting serious about your life and what you want in your life because you deserve to have the best. I don't care what anybody says. You deserve to have the best. But it's not enough just for me to say it. You actually have to believe it. So with that, guys, take care. Be blessed. Be well. I love you. Stay well. Please stay well. If you go out, wear a mask if you need to. Wear gloves if you need to. Whatever you need to do to make sure that you're safe, that's what you do. So, but anyway, guys, take care. Have a wonderful evening.